Let's give you a little preview of what you're going to encounter throughout the semester. In chapter zero, for all the people who experience fear and anxiety when they see mathematical expressions or numbers, we are going to give you strategies to overcome those fears and anxieties. You see, human brains are hardwired to do mathematics. And so we will show you how you can develop your own innate ability, and you'll be surprised where you can take off to. So first section in chapter zero will talk about how to prepare your mind and what strategies you can employ if you do experience anxieties and fears. So we'll talk about mindfulness, motivation, and what mathematics actually is, how to visualize success, how to experience failure successfully. In the next part, we'll talk about how to do critical thinking, develop curiosity, which is one of the things that STEM majors need to have, and how to extend your ideas and generalize them. And then on top of it, how to use your mathematical knowledge in modeling in different disciplines. We will also cultivate hands-on playing attitude which means that when you explore mathematics, you're looking at it as a playing and not as a chore. In chapter one, you will develop some basic terminology, starting with number systems, which is a review for many, and then see how to build upon it concepts of exponents, polynomials, algebraic expressions, equations and relations, and functions. The bulk of the semester is focused on equations, relations, and functions. And functions are going to have algebraic representation, graphical representation. We will build a library of functions with one-to-one -one functions, inverse functions, power functions, exponential and logarithmic functions. So applications of those, modeling, and sequences. Chapter two. We'll build upon chapter one and take all the functions that you developed in chapter one and learn how to do arithmetic with it. This is a pretty standard thing that mathematicians do. You get a new toy to play with, you figure out how to add, subtract, multiply, divide. Remember addition, you just add like units and it also undoes subtraction. Subtraction you also can only do with like units and then it undoes addition. Multiplication is used to undo division, but it also helps us in composing and decomposing uh, more complicated objects. Division will be used to undo multiplication, but we will also look at remainder and quotient and their meaning and what information is stored when you do that with functions. So graphing of functions and relations, using algebra on them, which will relate to transformation of functions, polynomial functions, quotient functions. All of those will be studied using the arithmetic of functions. Our last chapter, which is our crowning chapter, basically will look at all the functions that you looked at in chapter one and two, and we will solve equations and inequalities of different kinds, logarithmic, exponential, rational, radical, polynomial, and systems of equations and inequalities.